these two guys here that we're playing with that are joining us here in the Beef Set League. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Team Trash brought to Brit Team Trash at the Trash Talk Temple proudly brings to you the motherfucking Beef Set League. Oh shit, let me introduce our competitors real quick. On the left, he is the Mortal Kombat prodigy. I know you guys are excited to see him. He's coming off a couple of big losses, so he needs a win now more than ever. If j -Ro wants to continue the momentum he's had at the beginning of the season, he needs a win today. Is he going to take it from his opponent? Kingdom. Wrong way. Kingdom who is looking to make his name here in the Trash Talk Temple, looking to earn himself the coveted Team Trash Badger and Team Trash Tag. Here we go, forward one. We just had a Kano match. It was Julop, so you're going to see a difference in stylistics from these two. Julop playing a more patient Kano, whereas Kingdom a more bunga Kano, which makes this a fun match because there ain't nobody more bunga than j Row, bitch ass. All right, back three into the overhead, 4-3-3. Three, three. There's the launch. Boom, boop, boop. Boop, 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 gotcha. Three stand plus frames, four, three, three, into the fire, four, two, into the fireball, into the fireball again. Pressing buttons, gets the chip and the knockdown. Kingdom now in the corner. He's gonna have to fight out. He's gonna have to fight out very, very fast. Very, very fast. You don't want to be in the corner with J-Ro. He will press buttons. One, two, down one. Went for the tick grab, missed it, took the hit, and there's one, one, two. We have the corner now. Kingdom with good positioning. Remember, Kingdom plays Kano. He doesn't want damage. He just wants positioning, and he just threw that positioning away. J-Ro going to spread all of the buttons. Two, two, one, one, all the way into the command grab, crushing blow, 32%. Oh, went for the anti-breakaway technology because Kingdom Stays looking for grabs. Uh oh, one, one, two, one, one, two. Got the knockdown. We got knives jumping up. Went for a Kano ball, but with the jump kick. Four, three, three, four, three, three. And the grab. Four, three. Grab again. Command grab. Is he going to dress frame? He could go all the way. Down poke, down poke. Looking to chip him. Looking to chip him with safe pokes. Nope, we're going to get a grab. This is risky. j -Ro looking to chip. Looking to get extra little pieces. Got it there with the four, three, three into the grab. j -Row now with his first point on board, starting to build momentum, starting to build some movement in an upward winningly direction. Again, j -Row needs this win more than anybody, more for his mental health and his motivation. He's had some crushing defeats. He's looking to fight back and re-earn his confidence. And he's gonna do it at the expense of Kingdom. Thus far, with a score of one to zero, he's doing just that. But let's see what adjustment Kingdom makes. As I spin in a circle. As I spin in a circle. Kingdom, he is a hardcore. What is it about Kano? That like people that play Kano, they don't play nothing but Kano. He's like, he's almost like Scorpion, right? Almost like Scorpion. Kano mains I've found are more loyal to their character than Scorpion mains. Most Scorpion mains, they get mad and then they go to a top tier. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying that all of the Kano mains I know are still Kano mains to this day. Even when he was low tier, top tier, they don't care. Ooh, we went for the snake bite build into the Enziguri. That's a weird conversion off of that. I don't know that that would be what I would consider optimal. j -Ro going for the command grab and the side swap, 32%. And now we're pushing back to the other corner. Flawless block, j -Ro getting sweatful. You're not fully clean until you're sweatfully clean. I like the anti-air cano ball. There's a donkey kick. 4-3-3 three, three on the chase down. Tried to whip punish, but whip punished with a high. And unfortunately, j Row's foot just sneaked under his knife swings. There's a back grab, and now we've got the corner. Kingdom got the back two, back one, amplified Kano ball. And now Kingdom back in the corner. He had it for a moment. j Row stays looking for a grabs. Gets the low poke into the launch. Going to finish it with a fatal blow. j Row looking to just be in charge. Looking to say, listen, I want this corner. I want this damage. I want this heat. I don't care. I will use Fatal Blow early to establish my control this match. You will be playing my game, and I will not be playing yours. 
Listen in, Zaguri got a knockdown. J-Roll with a low poke, backing up. Shimmy back three, got the launch. No bar to break. No bar to break. Oh, you're probably wishing you broke now after 40%. Back two, j Row's gonna get that punish, and he's gonna go for the command grab, not looking for the launch, not looking for any other sort of punish. No punish there on that overhead, Ender. j Row wanting the positioning. He's just like, yo, dude, I don't wanna fuck with you. He's gonna end it with a just frame again. Oh, no! He dropped it! He dropped it! That's his setup. The just frame grab, spent both bars, didn't get it. The execution was not favoring him today, but j Row with a 4-3-3 into a stagger grab. Gonna get the second point on the board. j Row looks like he's starting to rebuild his confidence. He's starting to believe. He's starting to believe. This is scary. This is a very scary situation. When j Row is not scared, is when he becomes even more obnoxious. And when j Row is obnoxious, he is danger, danger. Danger, danger. j Row, two points to Kingdom Zero. Kingdom gonna have to dig deep. He's gonna have to find that magic juice inside of his belly button, right? Open up your belly button, reach inside, grab Quado, right? He was a stillborn twin brother that was born, uh, melded onto your chest through Mars radiation. Grab Quado, ask him a secret. He will tell you the prophecies. Total Recall was a documentary from the future, shot in real time. Change my mind, you can't. Watch, in the future, we're all gonna have three titties and Arnold Schwarzenegger, let's go. All right, jumping in, jumping in, back four, donkey kick, knives on the roll, two, four, snake bite, two, two, command grab, 30% for two bars, a little expensive, but Kano, a low damage character, so getting that big damage conversion definitely matters early on. He can kind of make a lot of mistakes now. Oh, he's making a lot of mistakes. j Row just starting to maul him in that life lead. Almost gone, got it back. Knife in the nooch, forward one, two, plus frames. j Row disrespecting the plus frames. Went for a command grab on wake up. j Row going for command grab. No, there's the overhead. Punishable, but not getting a punish. Tried to uppercut. There's a block on the overhead. Knife, knife. Forward one, no uppercut. He's got it. He's got it. Got the roll punish with amplified knives. Kingdom not free at all. Still in this Round one. Two, fight. All right, anti air. No, two, two, one, one. Into gotcha grab. Boom, boom, boom. Extra damage. 19% and a wall carry. There's the shoots. Four, two, standing four. Back three. Four, three, three. Into the overhead. Two, two, one, one. Two, two, one, one. No, into the shoots using the shoots to kind of make himself safe. It's not plus, so that's why he got interrupted there. J-Row overextending. This is gonna be a big Kano ball punish into the launch breakaway. We knew it was gonna happen, he had to. That was gonna be a lot of damage. J-Row with the command grab, only one half of it, looking to keep him in the corner, wanting the position more than anything. for two into the down four, using the mix up sparingly. I have to say, Justin Romeo's neutral and rushdown get more and more godlike every time we see him. Spent one shot looking to build some more heat. Nope, down poke, 4-3-3, four, 4-3-3, three, three. Four, three, three. command grab, boom. No just frame, looking to end with it. Went for the overhead crushing blow, didn't get it. Wake up buttons, boom, boom, boom. Restand, overhead, 4-3-3. Three, three. Oh, oh, down one, two, into command grab, misses it. We're gonna get a punish, one, one, two. We're walking out of the corner, 4-3-3. Three, three. No launch, went for another command grab off of the stagger. Now we're knocked down, gonna get an overhead. Standing two, cross up, nope, j Row. j Row getting hit because Kingdom looking for grabs. Overhead, this is, this is. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, but j Row, as good as his neutral is, all it does is it makes Fatal Blow in the neutral even more scarier because now he's not just doing it every chance he gets. He's actually thinking about it. And I told you guys, if j Row, if j Row ever stopped just mashing out Fatal Blow and actually picked and choose and thought about when he would use it, he would be scary as fuck. And here he is. Look at that creepy motherfucker. Dead ass fucking zombie jacks. Look at him, covered in blood. Take a shower, dude. Clean your balls. That's why you ain't got Jackie's mom no more. It's not cause she dead in the timeline. It's cause you dead in the timeline. Kingdom 
getting salty in the chat. He is angry. This is, I think, the first time Kingdom has met j Row in Beef Set League competition. He had no idea what he was up against. j Row looking to establish himself in the upper echelon. j Row likes to think that he competes with guys like Saizoth and Supernova and Julop. So, you know, he needs these wins. He needs these wins for the confidence, for the motivation, for the self-esteem here in the Trash Talk Temple. Even though j Row is a 12-year-old MK prodigy, allegedly, we don't give self-esteem because we ain't bitch asses. You got to earn that shit. You want self-esteem? Go ahead and take it from Kingdom. And right now, that looked like what j Row is doing. Standing 1-1-1, one, 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 Stagger, 1-1-2, one, one, finally confits the whole string. Forward 1-2, gets the knockdown. Nice neutral, Enziguri on the back dash. Knives, uh oh getting caught, getting clipped. j Row starting to start that snowballing, avalanching pressure. And now we're in the corner, and this is where things got really, really ugly for Kingdom. Once j Row gets in establishing this corner, he starts to become a huge problem. He went for ground pound. He had been using overhead on wake up and mixed it up because the animation is similar. Dirty, dirty little boy, this J. Rosimus. Nice jump kick and a convert down one, two into the command grab just frame. No, he's gonna spend it, is he? Oh, 40% out the gates. Archelemus has been called upon. Is Archelemus? No, Archelemus is not invited. Back one into Knives using the plus frames with j Row back dashing, catching him. All right, there we go, down one, down one, poke. Fireball, two, two, one, one, two, two. Into command grab, but he took the hit. So he whiffed the command grab. There's a two, four into snake fight. Two, two, doesn't get a conversion off that. Waiting for the oak, he gets the four, four. But j Row meeting him with a roll through. Uh-oh, no punish on that overhead. You gotta remember, Kingdom, that overhead, that two, 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 one, one, two, two, one, whatever with the overhead. Jab, punishable. Big, big damage you're leaving on the table by allowing j Row to just do whatever he wants. He spends the crushing blow. There you go. All right, I can respect this. Normally, I would criticize someone using crushing blow when they're... Uh, when they're on, when they have one more round that they have to win, but it was a desperation crushing blow, and it was enough to get him the win. J Ro overstepping his bounds, trying to answer crush for crush. J Ro also spent the crushing blow on his fucking tick grab, so he doesn't have a whole lot. Oh, okay, the side swap from Kingdom, 26% with a knockdown and Oki and the corner, but he's losing that corner. We're gonna get a launch, and now we are a million miles from that corner. J Ro. Gonna spend the bar, no, 32%. Ending it with that grab, another grab, 2-2, two, 1-1. Two, one, one. Boom, boom, into that grab, no punish there. Uh-oh, poke, down one, down one into snake bite. That is a gimmick, that is ineffective. j Rose had it, scouted. j Rose backing up, ground pound, does the amplify ground pound, and there's a shotgun shell, up shotgun shell, back dashing, another shotgun shell, forward, one, two. Yeah, if he had something to hit confirm that off of, would have been a nice call out, but unfortunately he didn't have Fatal Blow on deck, so he only got the forward one, two. Tried to stagger into some plus frames, didn't get a follow up after that. j Row spent, sensed the timidity. Okay, Kingdom went forward one, two, had the plus frames, didn't finish the string, didn't convert or hit confirm for more damage, went for a stagger, but blocked on the stagger, even though he landed the hit, that's an issue. That's a missing of the hit confirm. You maybe you didn't get the hit confirm confirmed all the way for a combo, but you could have at least capitalized on your plus frames. Instead, he blocked, so he doesn't know how plus he is, and j Row was able to flip the script, turn it back around, and steal one. Snake bite didn't come Jax. out. Ah, maybe we had some lag Rag technology, faster. lag tactics. Hey, Kingdom, are you on a wired connection by chance? Because if you're on a wired connection, you get a free win against j Row's laggy ass. j Row's saying gimmicks. I don't know. Oh, he is on a free, he is on a uh, wired connection. j Row, you motherfucker. Get your free point, Kingdom. So, no 0 and 5 Freedom Fighters. j Row gets to win with an asterisk. But listen, Kingdom, you got your freebie. All right, but j Row's still up four. All right, let's not get humiliated here. Round let's not get embarrassed. Fight. I need you to Kano his shit. All right, backing up. Nice neutral donkey kick out of the anti-air. Unique, unorthodox anti-air technologies. I respect that. Down one, 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 two. Knocked down. Backing it up. We got knives on deck. Look at this neutral air Kano ball for the side swap. Looking for the positioning. Back three. Went to interrupt. Interrupted with grab. If you would have went interrupted that overhead with a jab he probably could have got the interrupt that is an interruptible thing that does not actually jail unless it lands the hit on like 433 so it is a hundred percent 
escapable. That's going to be a punish. You can't do snake bite without hit confirming. Jay Rosamus will make you pay for it. 40% and the corner and the round. It's game point, match point, set round. J Ro about to shut down Kingdom with a jump in, jump kick. 4 3 3, 4 3 3. Got the overhead. Play the mixed game. Back three. Overhead again. Went for the grab. J Ro staying looking for grabs. 2 2. 2 2. No, 1 2. 1 2. Down 1 2. Into the command grab. Are we going to just frame it? Oh, 42%. Didn't get the just frame there. Looking to save it, maybe? Save it for a rainy day. I'll tell you what, Arkelemus was denied. j -Row is probably mad that down that crushing blow on that grab would have brought him one step closer to an R. Kelly on the stream. j -Row hasn't had a visit from R. Kelly in a long time. You know he's always looking to flex and flash. All right, we're zoning. It's the zoning jacks. Double shotgun shoots. Another shotgun shoot. We got a Kano ball to get in. Two, four, snake bite. Back one fatal blow. I called it. j -Row with the no breakaway. He's going to take all this, put himself in a chip, this, uh, chip situation. This will not kill. Kano gets a lot of damage scaling off of that snake bite, so he doesn't get a all oh, wow. Just walk into four, three. Never mind. On the Oki, j -Row taking it. Four to one, no, five to one with wake up buttons on Kingdom. Valiant effort, Kingdom. You're in there with J-Ro. He's a sweaty motherfucker that mashes through Wi-Fi lag. There's an asterisk. Don't worry, Kingdom. There's an asterisk by your name. But J-Ro got the win he needed. The motivation and the confidence shall be removed, returned back to the little boy. Maybe he'll stop being so damn emo and whining about how he sucks at this game again, right? We're going to go nine respect for the teabag fatality. Final score, five to one. If you want to join us live, you should on twitch.tv slash SoCalHoneyBadger. And, uh, you know, while you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this by tweeting out to your mom.